Okay, let's move on to the first part of problem two. So we'll start just by reading the problem. The extremely heat-proof Venus rover has just landed. Researchers have input a set of sites they'd like the rover to visit. For each pair of sites, Mission Control has computed the probability of the rover making it between sites without breaking down, and they'd like to find a path that visits all the sites while maximizing the chance the rover will remain functional, that is, not break down. So what you want to look for here is features of the problem that are really easy to map to the existing problems. And one thing that jumps out at me right away is it says for each pair of sites, mission control has computed this probability, right? So there's a pair of sites and there's a probability, P, maybe it's uh, 0 0.3, that it'll break down between this pair of sites, okay? Um, Oh, <laughs> down here it says you want to maximize the probability that it breaks down. Well, you obviously don't want to maximize the probability that it breaks down. So if, if the probability of breakdown is 0.3, then the probability of not breaking down, not breakdown, is going to be 0.7. So we can always switch that around to the probability of not breaking down. Okay, so there's a pair of sites, and for each pair of sites, we know this numerical value. What does that sound like? hopefully to you that sounds like a weighted graph so it sounds to me like we have a weighted graph and over that weighted graph we want a path and we want that path to have some value they want to, we want it to be at least some value right um, so let's see which of the problems feels most like that uh, which one actually has a weighted graph for one thing and actually the only problem we have that deals with a weighted graph is traveling salesmen there are some others that deal with graphs and with paths or cycles through that graph and that would certainly be Hamiltonian cycle and Hamiltonian path uh, there are others that deal with graphs but don't deal with cycles uh, and there are others that deal with numbers and weights like subset sum and knapsack but they don't deal with graphs but right away to me this feels most like traveling salesman so you know if I had to stop and guess at this point I would just guess traveling salesman so this is my guess I'm, I'm gonna write it in right now I and then let's see if I can map this pretty well at least to traveling salesman um, so I in traveling salesman I'm supposed to have a graph and the graph here is the sites each site is a node uh, and the weighted edges for each pair of sites we have this probability that the rover will break down or we can have a probability that the rover will will carry on between that pair of sites I'm also supposed to have a threshold cost K now this doesn't feel like a decision problem so instead of feeling thinking about the decision version of traveling salesman I'm gonna think about the optimization version in the optimization version we just want the cheapest path uh, and that's more like this except it says here maximize the chance it will remain functional so it sounds like we're not looking for the cheapest path we're looking for the most expensive but but we've already said with probabilities we know that the probability of an event and the probability of the opposite of that event is it's just one minus the probability of the event so let's just convert this so instead of thinking about maximizing the chance it'll remain functional let's minimize the chance that it'll break down and at that point it sounds like finding the cheapest path cost now in traveling salesman we add up the costs along the way uh, but with probabilities we're going to multiply costs along the way okay so if we have the probability it'll break down along uh, that it will not break down along one edge then the probability that it will not break down in two steps will be the product of those probabilities uh, but it gives us a suggestion here to take the logs and if we take the log of the product of a bunch of probabilities, we're going to get a sum of probabilities. And so all of a sudden it'll feel like traveling salesman again. So we're going to have to do some tricks in here. And it does say this one is tricky. This is definitely the trickiest one in here. Um, you know, we're going to have to decide, do we want the probability of breakdown or the probability of making it between two spots? We're probably going to have to take the logs of the probabilities once we determine them instead of remaining with the original probabilities. And we're also going to have to think about, like, to deal with this maximizing versus minimizing thing, maybe when we're all done, we're going to negate all of the edge costs so that we will end up uh, minimizing rather than maximizing or something like that but regardless this is definitely the best fit we're gonna get everything else is gonna be much messier